Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be showing you guys what I got for Christmas. Sorry if this video is a little bit after the holiday season, I apologize. We have had so many issues with our Wi-Fi. AT&T just came out this morning and they said they fixed everything. We're gonna find out if it's true or not, but without further ado, let's get started. So I just want to start off this video by saying like this is in no way me bragging. This is just strictly for content because it, it was a request which I don't mind doing. Like whatever you guys request like I'll do it. But I do want to just say like how thankful I am to my husband who pretty much got me all of these gifts because he does a really good job at, like he asked me what I usually every year for Christmas he asked me what I want but I can never like. I'm indecisive. I can never like give him anything that I really want for Christmas just because I feel like my husband does a really good job just throughout the year by just always like, you know, spoiling me and just, you know, just always like doing stuff, not just like getting like material things, but just some of like even like flowers and stuff like that. He just always does like such a good job. So like when Christmas and Valentine's Day roll around, like it's just, it's like kind of another like okay like my husband pretty much does this type of stuff all year long so that's why I don't like you know have anything to say but I do have to shout my husband out really quick just because both of us are college students and then we both do work and my husband just for his age like for both we're both very young but you know for his age for him to just be so mature and like such you know like a good parent and a good husband like it just amazes me every single day like his family is just always like his first priority like not only like taking care of us but like just going like above and beyond and like spoiling us all the time like he just he's so amazing so I just thought I would share that like I'm just so blessed and I'm so fortunate to have him he's blessed and fortunate to have me too though but okay now we can get into the items so the first items I want to show you guys are these candles which I love so much like these scents I know fragrance is like a very personal thing so I don't know if you'll like them but there's a store in my city which is Indianapolis called at home I don't know if that's like all over the country I'm not sure but it's like a home store it's some it's like some things are affordable some things um, or not you just kind of have to like keep an eye out but we got this big giant G candle this was a $10 candle and it just smells really good. I think they have like all these letter candles and each letter is the same exact scent. So even if you got like a C or an H on it or whatever, it would still smell like this. But this smells really good. Um, the only thing that frustrates me about this candle is I can't really tell you guys what scents are in here because it doesn't say anything on the bottom. It just gives me like the warning thing. But this was a $10 candle. And this is G for our, our last name is Graham. So yeah, I really do love the smell of this candle. And then I also got this other candle. This is from Target. And they have like these Zodiac candles. And I've smelled all of them. The Cancer one smells pretty nice. Um, I'm pretty sure the Virgo one smelled really nice. But the Leo one, which my husband and I are actually both Leos. Which I do have to tell you guys a few things at the end of this video. And no judgments. But the Leo candle was definitely my favorite. And this one does have the ingredients in it. It says there's notes of Devana, Sage, Lavender, Amber, Iris, Sandal, and Sandalwood. I don't know. It smells just very soothing, warm, and relaxing. I didn't even know Lavender was in here. And this candle, these candles are $7.99. I, I actually love this one so much that I actually have another one burning right now. But candles, they're my thing. But, you know, typically when people buy you fragrances, I just feel like that's so iffy because you just never know if someone is actually going to like it. But I actually really love that. Even if I didn't like them, I'd probably still burn them, especially the Leo one. Sherrod knows, like, I'm super into, like, our zodiac signs. I th Like, I truly believe that's why him and I are so compatible because we're such Leos. But, yeah. The next thing I got were these sunglasses from Target, which are super, super cute. I'm not going to, well, I guess I can put them on a little bit. I'm not going to put them fully on because I have on makeup and I don't want them to mess up my nose line. But I really thought these glasses were so, so cute when I got them. Um, and I'm pretty sure I pointed these out to my husband. They were $10 glasses. And these are just from Target. This is from their um, little wild brand, whatever. This brand actually has like some cute stuff. So Target is like where it's at this holiday season. 
well, not holiday season, but for like just little knickknack things. Like I really do, it's certain things are like expensive. Like I would never grocery shop at Target. No way. But like they have some cute clothes, cute accessories. Obviously their electronic section, toys, all that. Like Target just has everything. It's like Walmart, but it's like more well kept. People are so polite. People know where things are, you know? So yeah. I don't know. I just actually went to Walmart and Target in the same day and I was getting rung out at Walmart. The cashier was so rude to this older woman. The woman, she said she was 89 years old. Um, she looked really good for 89, but the cashier was just so nasty to her. And like at Target, like I've never seen anyone be like rude. I've never really even seen a customer be angry at Target, but that's just me. Um, another thing I got for Christmas are these coasters. We have a new wooden dining room table and don't sit your cold drink that's melting on my wood table. Put it on a coaster. And these G coasters also match our G candles. So it's for the Graham household. Uh, it's not just one coaster. There's actually eight in here. But I really do love these coasters. And these are actually marble coasters. Obviously, guys, I've been on YouTube for a little minute now. And so obviously I upgraded some things this year as you guys can see I have like a room dedicated to me filming I have a new camera um I also got a new tripod this year um just new decorations and stuff which these are actually going down after this video because today is New Year's Eve I'm actually getting ready to have a party tonight so I'm cooking things in the crock pot about to set up decorations but my husband went to Best Buy and he was trying to get me this really nice ring light that no Best Buy in Indiana had and I'm not going anywhere. I don't like to order things online. It's just not my style. Only if I absolutely have to. I really just don't. It's not even that I don't feel comfortable with it because I've ordered online. I don't really think anything's going to happen and my bank is pretty good if something were to happen. But if I give you my money, I want my item in my hand. I'm just that type of person. So I really don't prefer to order online. But Sharad went and found this ring light. And it was only like, I think this was like a $65 ring light. But it was on sale for 50% off. And so he bought me this ring light. Which is, you guys can probably see it's a reflection right here. And then I have another one here. Um, but yeah, so I really like this ring light. And I just thought it was just so cool of him to just be, oh, I'm sorry if you guys want to see the box, just in case any of you YouTube, this is actually a pretty affordable ring light. It's not huge, so it won't, I mean, it is big. It won't take up too much space though. And it comes with like everything you need. I don't actually put my camera, there's a place for a phone to go in this ring light. Um, my camera could fit in it if I didn't, my camera actually flips up if that makes any sense. Because I have a Canon power shot, so the, the screen flips, and I can't see. I would never want to record and not be able to see myself because anything could happen. Um, but because my camera flips up, it doesn't fit in here. But you're, if you don't care about looking at yourself, your camera can fit in there. Your iPhone can fit in there. Your Android, however you record, it can probably fit in there. So there's that. Like it's a, It's a really nice ring light, and it has like different lighting settings, so I can show you guys that really quick. So this lighting that you see right now is like the best lighting. This is like the overall brightness, but I can change it to blue light, which you can see my hair is turning blue. Ooh, that is hurting my eyes. This is actually like studio lighting. So this is kind of the lighting that you would witness at Sephora. Um, it's mostly good for photo taking. And then there's like a more yellow light. It's more warm looking, which I don't know. I don't know what that lighting is for, but but each light is really good, but I prefer this one. This one's my favorite. Hold, the camera can get back to, okay. Yeah, but, so I do really like this ring light, and I'm so thankful he got it for me, because, you know, like, I really like YouTubing, and I do want to take it serious, so for him to, you know, like, go out of his way to find me something to help better my channel, like, of course, I appreciate that. Okay, the next thing I got is this Morphe and Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette, which I have some of the mattes on my eyes today. I've actually never purchased anything from Jeffree Star. I know he's like considered like the godfather in the beauty community. I've honestly never really watched any of his videos. I've never purchased any of his makeup. I don't know really much about him. I just know he's very controversial. Um, I don't even know why. But this palette is super cute, super pink. 
And then here go the colors and the, it's actually a really pretty palette. And the shades I use actually perform very, very well. But it's a nice, cute palette. I love, like, sh eyeshadow palettes with, like, pinks. I think pinks are, like, like, I love a good blue. Obviously, I can't wear blue every day. But I feel like pink is, like, the one color that I could just get away with wearing every single day. Like, you can tone pinks up or you can tone them down if you want to. But I really do like this eyeshadow palette. So, I can't wait to play in it some more. So, you guys be expecting a video with me using this eyeshadow palette soon. I don't know which colors I'm going to use because I just did a pink look very similar to this. Oh, just so you guys know, this is not the same look that you guys saw with that Fenty eyeshadow palette, just so you know. And it's also not the same lip color either. It is the same lip liner, but it's not the same lip color. So Victoria's Secret, obviously, they have their semi-annual sale twice a year, once in the summer, and then once around Christmas. And my husband obviously got me some of the, um, you know, the, the pink underwear. I'm not going to show those on camera because I feel like that's just weird like it's personal but I did also get this scrunchie and it is so cute this like I love the color of it um my co-worker she wears like the cutest colored scrunchies all the time to work um and they're like I don't know I was being a copycat I'm not even gonna lie I, I told her though I was like I'm giving you a heads up like I love your scrunchies so much I'm gonna have to get my own um but this is not a color that she's worn so she gave me the pass but I really do like this scrunchie a lot. I think it's like super, super cute. And the quality of it. Now, this scrunchie was like $3.99, which I do feel like is a little expensive. But I'm not going to lie, like the thickness of the velvet and the band in here, you can tell like it's legit quality. But I mean, it's a scrunchie. Like it doesn't need to be $4. Like that's expensive, which is why I only have one. Because they had some pretty cute colors. There was like a sky sky baby blue one that kind of matched my nails i was thinking about getting it too but for two scrunchies for like eight dollars i was just like nah like i can get a whole pack for that so i'm gonna pass so i only got this one just because i felt like it was like cute and all that so yeah but i do really like the scrunchie i'll probably you guys they're making me work today i have a party to plan and i have to work for three hours which is not even a whole shift so it's unnecessary for me to even go into work but I'm gonna do it. The next thing I got was this collab foundation, which is the Skin Wonder Foundation, which is a new foundation. Um, this collab is a, a brand that you get at Sally's Beauty. And Sally's Beauty, if you don't know, they have a like a point system and re slash reward system, just like Ulta, where you get money back for shopping, actual money back that you can use on anything in the store. And then I also got these collab micellar makeup removing wipes. I only got them because collab was um they apparently what did my husband say oh collab was like buy one get one free so you could buy anything and get anything from collab free so he said that he knows that I use I obviously I my stuff takes up so much space in the bathroom but I use the Garnier micellar water and I had been complaining about being out of it and so he said he saw the word micellar and just got the makeup wipes since I always need makeup wipes all the time anyway so that was actually pretty smart now that I think about it. But yeah, and I love how my husband like knows like my shade and stuff like that. He's just kind of like equipped to me now like when it comes to like makeup, like knowing like what like what colors I like, what colors look good on me, stuff like that, things I need, but I love my husband. Like I really love him. The next thing I got is this makeup eraser which I've been meaning to use and I forget every day so at least I haven't used it so I can show you guys it in the package but apparently this makeup eraser is supposed to like have a special texture to it special blend of polyester it's supposed to work like a suction cup and it's made of millions of tiny hair like fibers um it says it's 10 to 50 times thinner than a human than human hair which is a very large gap um adheres to makeup and gently pulls it up and out of the skin it's free of alcohol, oils, parabens, dyes, fragrances, and sulfates. Um, so basically, I've talked to people that I've worked with who have used the makeup eraser, and they said that it really doesn't, like, do all of that. But I do understand the concept of this because I do feel like this is much more eco-friendly than using makeup wipes. 
but it can also become unsanitary and expensive because once you use this, it's not clean. Like once you wash off your face and I get that makeup wipes are wasteful, but if you genuinely want to clean your face, I get it. It's wasteful. Makeup wipes are probably going to be your best bet just because you're literally going to either have to wash this every single day or you're going to have to buy about seven of them, which this is $20. Like what is 20 times seven? A ridiculous amount of money. How much is that? That's $140 for rags. Like, you might as well just buy regular, I mean, I'm sorry, like, this is a soft, plush, whatever, I get it, but you might as well just use your own regular washcloth, like, for your face. Um, also, just so you know, when you're washing your face, you should never use the same washcloth on your face as you do on your body. And honestly, you should always try to wash your face with a white washcloth, especially if you wear makeup. For one, so you can see that your face is still dirty and you need to go back in and wash it. But for two, because there's no dye in it, just to throw that out there. But yeah, so I'm going to try this, obviously, because I have it. Um, but yeah, because I mean, I'm personally, I'm not trying to be wasteful. Like I love Mother Earth. I love her. She takes good care of me. But I'm going to be sticking to makeup wipes because I just feel like that's just the most sanitary thing to do. So, the next thing I got is this Kylie Lip Trio, which is really cute. It has a Kylie gloss in here in the shade Crystal, which is a clear, which is so weird because she has a gloss named Clear that's pink, but whatever. Um, she has a lip liner in the shade Coconut and then a matte liquid lipstick in the shade Kylie. I think my husband knows ever since like I did that video of testing all of Kylie Cosmetics. I actually, like, I think most of her stuff is pretty cute. I'm not a fan of the eyeshadow palettes. I'm just, that's just my honest opinion. I've only tried, like, the nine pan eyeshadow palettes. Um, I didn't try the little holiday palette because there were so many pinks in it from Ulta just because, you know, look at my face. Like, I have so much pink already. That's the only reason I didn't try it because that one actually did swatch a lot different than the 9 pan eyeshadow palettes. So that could be it too because they seem to have different formulas. But I cannot wait to try this. And then just so you guys can see what's on the back of it, right here is everything that's in this box. And this box apparently is $36 because it's right there. Reading is fundamental. I don't know if any of you have heard of the store called Windsor. They have some really cute items. Kind of pricey sometimes, but they always have really good sales. However, I was shopping there one day, and I saw the cutest little handbag, which is a little clear box purse, which I just think is so adorable. This was $24, I believe, and it's just so cute. The clamp is really hard to get open, though, which is very frustrating. Okay, I'm not going to break my nail doing this, but I really do like this purse. I think it's just so cute and so different. I know a lot of people, like, I, a lot of you guys will probably think this is weird, but this is so cute. And my husband has known, like, I've been looking for a clear purse. I love the look of the clear bags. But this is just so different and unique, and it's super me. Um, also in here, because I can't get this open, my grandmother-in-law, so my husband's nana, his grandmother, she went to Cuba, and she brought back me and my soon-to-be sister-in-law like my brother-in-law's girlfriend I don't know what to call her but she brought me and her back these bracelets from Cuba which are super super cute which I've actually been wearing but I wanted to film this video of what I got for Christmas so I put it in here so I didn't lose it and now I can't get this open yay me but this is super super cute like I love little little gifts like this especially like when people travel like souvenirs I just think they're so cute especially because I can wear that like that's super cute so thank you for that. I'm so appreciative of everything I got because I just really love everything I got. But this purse and this bracelet, they're so cute. Look at this bag. It's not even like a bag. Like, look at this box. <laughs> okay, guys. So the next thing I want to talk about, I want to have a story time. So I got this pajama set from Victoria's Secret, which I get a pajama set from Victoria's Secret every year for Christmas from my hubby because he's the best. And these have like little snowflakes on them. And... I got, like, this matching shirt to go with it. Also, I got this pajama set from Target for Christmas. And this, it just says, I'm chill. So, it's just, like, a little set. But when I was at Victoria's Secret, um, with my husband picking this out, this couple, I don't, I think they were shopping for their daughter or whatever. I was grabbing these and, like, the guy's wife, like, tried to snatch it out of my hand because there was only one pair left. So, 
but I was like I was already there like she just like was like oh that's cute like saw me like about to grab it like in my hand and then tried to snatch it but I have a very like I'm a very little I'm very petite I'm very little but I have a strong grip and I have a very short fuse people are so nasty around the holidays like I don't understand this is just a material thing so I thought about it and I was like I don't need this so I gave it to her I was like you know what you can have it now I was still mad at the end of the day because that's very disrespectful like you don't snatch anything out of anyone's hand but especially not out of my hand like that is not something you want to do but she looked at the pants and was like oh it's not even her size and like tossed it back at me it was just like the rudest thing ever but that's not like the first thing thing I've witnessed like just people being nasty during the holiday season I don't know why everyone is like so high strung because if you think about it all like you're just being materialistic this is a material thing I won't die without this pajama set like I can return this right now and I'll be okay. Like, I'm not going to be mad about it. I'm not going to be stressed about it. I probably will forget about it. It's cute. I have it now. I'm going to wear it. But nothing is ever that deep. Like, no material thing is that deep to where you just have to be nasty to people or be rude or knock them out of the way. Like, the same attitudes I see, like, on Black Friday. Like, it was just absurd. Like, I've never, like, nobody's ever done anything like that to me. But it was just really, really rude. But I'm over it because the pajamas were my size because I'm little. And I'm short and nobody can fit my size which is why it was the last pair left because no one is as short as I am the next thing I got are these ABH loose glitters which are so beautiful um so pretty there's like a five piece well six piece because there's five loose glitters in here and then one glitter adhesive and yeah I love this I love like I love loose glitters I love like being creative with my Makeup, if you guys cannot already tell, I just have so much fun playing in my makeup and obviously coming on here and doing different looks for you guys so you guys can go out and try them if you want to, but I really do like those loose glitters. And then I also got this as a stocking stuffer. I accidentally, I accidentally threw away the box, but the box came with like a little thing to hang up on the tree. And these are lip glosses by Marc Jacobs and they are in the shade, okay, I can't pull them out because of my nails, but... This one is like a pink shimmery one. This one kind of reminds me of St. Tropez from um, ABH gloss, but it's not as like warm. Like this is more cool tone. And then this one, I can't even put my finger on it, like what it reminds me of. But this is actually very, very sheer. So don't be scared by this. I wear this with like a brown lip liner and it looks super cute. So don't be intimidated by the color like you can rock it because it's pretty clear. Another thing we got for Christmas and this is like a family gift is the ring doorbell. Um, I'm at home all the time. Anyway, our house is, let me just say we have the protection that we need. Um, somebody's always at home but it doesn't matter um, because if anything ever happens I need to know like I need answers. So we got this like ring doorbell and this was... Um, recommended by my friend Gina I went to her house and I was like what is that and she was explaining to me how it worked and so I was like you know what let me go ahead and get that so we have one now and we also have the chime so that way when someone rings the doorbell we can hear it throughout the house but we also have an actual security system in the house as well so that's that's not through ring that's something totally different um, which is weird because all I see is myself on camera all day or my husband or my child so <laughs> I don't know, but it just makes me feel much more secure. So, I honestly, that ring doorbell, especially going on the app, it notifies you of all crime going on, like, within, like, usually, like, 20 miles of your house and stuff like that. Um, you know, I've seen people, like, doing stuff on camera, which they're so dumb. Like, I don't mean to call them dumb. They're not dumb. But they're making poor choices. On camera which is good because like when people are like thinking they got got over on someone like breaking into their home or stealing their items like you're on camera and the camera can see you like this camera is so good it can see you from far away and you wouldn't think because it's facing this way you wouldn't think it would be able to see something like from the side but it can like it's really like a really nice camera so especially like you ladies who live alone like I think that's a great item for your safety so I would honestly check that out. You also, you do have to have Wi-Fi to have it, just so you know. Um, and then if you ring it, you won't be able to hear it in your house unless you get the ring chime. But I don't really think you even need the chime. Like, I just think the ring doorbell by itself is a necessity. And someone's at my door, which is my son and my husband.
<laughs> we'll be right back. All right, guys. So the next thing that I got for Christmas is this North Face coat, which is super cute because I would have never thought to have picked something out like this. I'm not into like the North Face brand or anything. I'm like, I'm not not into it. I'm just not into it. This is super cute. It's like a little bubble jacket and it just has a very soft fuzzy hood that you can zip on or off. Um, and it just says North Face right here, but <laughs> I actually have like the traditional North Coast, the black fleece jacket zip up, very simple one. It's filthy. I've had it since I was, um, actually I can't remember. I think I've had it since I was like a freshman in high school. So, I mean, I've had it like like seven or eight years whatever but I've had it for seven years some time and I just needed another coat because I honestly use that one as a coat and it's it's very warm like it does its job but it's not like a coat even though I kind of use it that way because it's like not so heavy but I really do like this one because even though it's big it's like very lightweight so I really do love that coat that coat is a very nice coat it's a $230 coat that I know was purchased at Macy's so I don't know if it's because it was from Macy's it was cheaper or if it would have been cheaper at the North Face store I feel like I don't know but I really do like the coat so I'm very appreciative of that the next thing I got is this Sherpa sweater from I think that's how you say it um, from Victoria's Secret. It has a gold zip up thing which I really like because every zip thing that I have is always silver and I actually am more of a fan of gold jewelry than I am of silver. This is a really nice sweater though and I know for a fact it came in different colors. This one is a quarter zip. I did black because I'm a smart girl. I always play it safe and I know that any other color I would spill coffee on it crumbs on it, something red on it because that's just my luck. To go with my Sherpa sweater, I also got these Victoria's Secret pink leggings which has like a pocket on the side right here. Um, they just look like this at the bottom of them but I really do like these leggings. I obviously got gift cards and stuff so I purchased other things but I feel like the gift cards really were, were the gifts, not the other things, which is why I'm not showing them in this video. So shout out to my in-laws and my dad for the gift cards because what college student doesn't love getting gift cards? <laughs> the next thing I got is this Ralph Lauren robe. I love robes. I've been wearing the same robe for two years now. It was a, It's a Victoria's Secret robe. It's black and white. It just says love and pink um, in big white letters and the robe is black. I actually got that... Um, I think at Victoria's Secret, you had to spend so much money a couple years ago to get like a free robe. So that's how I ended up getting that robe. But this one is very nice. And that one is pretty old. I think I can do away with that one. But I love robes. This one is just like a nice soft pink. And this is a Ralph Lauren robe. So it better be of good quality. But yeah, I haven't touched this yet just because I was waiting to film this video and I'm glad I'm finally getting it up. But this is the robe. I'm not going to take it out of its packaging just yet, but it's nice and soft and fluffy and I'm sure you guys can see that. I feel like I've gotten so much Victoria's Secret this year for Christmas, it's ridiculous. But I think this is the last thing I got from Victoria's Secret. This is the um, little box outfit. So they always have these box outfits, but I've never paid attention to them. But apparently they were 50% off and I always have on black sweatsuits. So this one was gotten for me and this is just a like black hoodie and like loose sweatpants so the girl's outfit in the picture is the outfit that um is in the box and this is a medium i like my sweatpants to be a little bit loose and then the hood is made up of like that sherpa material so like like it looks like sheep's sheep's wool or whatever but i actually cannot wait to wear that that is definitely like a school outfit most of the stuff i get from victoria's secret is like comfortable stuff i wear to college because Usually, like you guys would probably think I would look like this 24-7. I literally, for the most part, only look like this when I'm going to work or if me and Sherrod are having like a date. When I go to school because I have to wear makeup for work, I just don't, I just don't have the energy. Like, I just don't. So usually I always throw on a sweatsuit, throw on something really comfortable and go sit in all my lectures for the entire day. That's usually just how my life is. So the next thing I got are some new shoes, which are these Nike Air Force Ones, which were so popular when I was growing up. And yes, I had a pair and I could never keep them clean. At first, I 
rock the high tops then I got the low tops and I could never keep them clean because they were white and I was a child um but then I feel like they fell out of style I'm not sure but I got some more and these have been kept pretty clean they're just basic white air force ones and I got these for much cheaper than a grown-up would because I actually wear a size three or four in sneakers these are four because they didn't have a three and these are actually a little big but there are certain sneakers that I do wear fours in but for the most part and these I should definitely be a three I just have a very small foot but I do really like those shoes those are like just shoes I feel like I can pair with anything if I don't know what to do so I really do like these shoes and then the last thing I got which was so shocking to me because there's they've never really been on my radar even though I've always thought they look cute and comfortable but I got a pair of Yeezys and I don't know anything about Yeezys um I just know these say they're Yeezy Boost 350 made by Adidas which is Kanye West brand if you guys didn't know but I just got these this color is black because I feel like I wear so much black to school anyways. These would match with everything. But you guys, these feel very, very, very comfortable. Like, I really like this shoe. So, yeah. I'm actually really happy with these. Both of the shoes that I got. I'm not like a big shoe or sneaker person. But I really do like the shoes that I got for Christmas. So, there was something that I did want to address with all of you. Um, I just wanted to save it for the end of the video, but it is the fact that um, come January, I do have an appointment. Um, I want to be very transparent and very like blunt about this, and I'm not trying to be rude, but I have an appointment. I will be getting lip fillers come mid-January, and obviously, you guys would probably notice that if you watch my videos, you'd be like, whoa, what happened? Um, I just wanted to tell you, because I mean, I'm not ashamed, like I don't care, but just so you know, like me getting lip fillers is not... It's actually like something I've honestly always like I've wanted to try for a long time. I don't have a problem with my lips like I think they're fine. They're actually I feel like my lips are a nice size but I've I, I just wanted to try them. Plus these are the kind that if I don't like them like I can get them taken out as soon as I want. So it's safe. Um, this is like one of the best doctors that I'm going to be seeing in Indiana. So you know I feel very safe knowing that. Um, but yeah, just I just wanted to throw that out there because you know that's that's my business. Like nobody should like hate me for that. Nobody should really have anything to say because it is my face and I'm okay with it. My husband's okay with it. Um, not that like I don't need his permission, but I just of course I ask him and you know he doesn't care like whatever makes me happy. But if I don't like them, obviously I'll get them removed. But I still want to try them. I don't really feel like anything cosmetic is anything different than wearing fake nails or fake hair or putting on makeup like whatever floats your boat is your business um so I just wanted to say that because like I said like I don't I'm not going to sit here and lie like if I do something I don't care like I'll tell you so I just wanted to throw that out there so if I look a little different that's why but yeah so anyways I hope you guys are having a fantastic new year um I can't wait to see what this year brings for me and for you guys. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.